Hello everybody and welcome back to Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved. My name's Adders and the base has taken on a rather large transformation. Um, we've got silverwood trees everywhere. I went harvesting for more saplings. Um, this bit still looks the same. Nothing new there. Um, and we're going to just go in here a second. I've got, I've got something for you. Wither skeletons. We got five withers we can make. So let's start the episode with a bang, or shall we finish it with a bang? Hmm. Let's finish it with a bang. So I just wanted to quickly show you what I've been doing with myself. Um, I've been messing around with the genetics cave, and it's taken on a transformation indeed. Um. We saw last time that I'd made ethanol, biomass, fruit juice, and put this in here as well. This is just randomly in here for so I just didn't have anywhere else to put it. But now we've got all of these, which are incubators, and incubators need certain materials to make certain things for genetics. Now this one is creating bacteria from the growth medium which is made from growth medium and water it makes it a liquid growth medium which then gets fed into here automatically from this tank I've also got it for a, for a storage backup and this one then creates the growth medium and wheat into bacteria which gets fed into the back and into this first incubator which makes enzymes the enzymes, the bacteria is also pumped into here to make polymerizing bacteria and also into here with blaze powder to make bacteria vector. Now we need these for later, I don't need them yet, but I just thought I'd get a backlog going while I did my gene pool. Now the gene pool is a funky little machine that squishes your bees down. It takes ethanol, enzymes, and bees, lots and lots of singletons and a few stacks of um, mundane bees, bees too there but it's, it squishes them down and um, turns them into liquid DNA now each bee is only like 10 DNA so we're going to need a hell of a lot of bees to fill up this resonant portable tank which is 512 buckets um, so that's the thing, I'll need to get this battery going I think that's a... no that's not it okay I'm gonna need to work on this in a bit and I'll run a cable underneath, put all these cables underneath um, and maybe try and hide these pipes somehow, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that but we'll do it anyway maybe up and through and then down so it doesn't look so bad um, or yeah, I don't even see how I could do it, do it underneath or else it would clash with all the pipes. But yeah, we've done that and also, we're still breeding cherry and silver lime. We haven't got our chestnut yet. But I, I made a sugar cane farm because this, the bacteria stuff needs sugar. Oh. Oh my god, I'm getting shot and I'm still standing up. Wicked. Right. Bye. Um, this automatically harvests these bits of sugar cane and automatically puts them into a pulverizer. We do get sludge out of it. I'm going to have to deal with that sludge. Might have to do the void pipe. In fact, let me just quickly do that now while I'm thinking about it. Uh, bosh, bosh, bish, bash, bosh. It's only liquid, so we can probably just pump it out the top, I suppose. Yes, we can. And there's a death bloom somewhere in that little line. Into that, void the sludge. Okay, that's gone. There it is. Gosh. Horrible flowers. I don't know where, what ones are producing those, but they keep on popping up and poisoning me. But anyway, we have very stable 
cultivated drones. Um, we have stacks and stacks of bees here. These are just my producing bees. I'm just using them to produce the honeycomb. We're getting quite a lot of honeycomb now. But then I've got cultivated, common. This isn't too stable yet. It keeps on producing singletons, which I'm going to have to deal with. We have nobles, very stable. Nobles, very stable. Just in case, there's no throwbacks. No throwbacks here. Another noble queen. We have a cultivated queen, stable. It's got a few throwbacks, but I'm breeding in the lines on these ones. So this one keeps on producing throwbacks. We're gonna we're gonna have to deal with that. Might have to even destroy that queen. Um, this one's doing good. I just heard something. Okay. Oh, it was a spider. Bow. Um, so yeah, we were doing good with the bees and we have cleared out this chest a little bit not too much, we need to do a bit more clearing but we need this DNA so we've got nearly half a bucket Woo <laughs> but the reason I wanted to make this video today was I'm going to craft the sundial sundial, there it is so this thing's expensive, really expensive, and I need to go and get the Ender Dragon Egg. So, let's make a few of these. Uh, Twelve. One, two, three. It was four, wasn't it? Ah. Ooh. one two three one two there's all my draconium gone but it's worth it for this machine oh what have I just did Ugh. right so this should be able to be not processed one more of those okay now we need to make the awakened draconium bars which is there 36 of them then this like so awaken core we should have everything now apart from the enchanting table okay we can do that no problem and now I've got to go and get me a dragon egg so you need a torch this lot can go in there that can go in there we need a torch, we need a block of some description. So let's just take a piece of abyssal stone. That'll do. And that can go in there and then let's fly over to the pool. So for those who don't know how to do how to mine unminable blocks, this is the only way to do it. Um it's a bit of a bit of a cheese, but it works so we, I'll show you when we get there um, also I need to awaken the ender dragon so I can get more dragon hearts I shall do that maybe next episode because um, we need a lot of awakened draconium and I may upgrade my bow before I do so because the, the next level bow is properly next level it's ridiculous Swampy, swampy. So yeah, this this sundial is an absolutely awesome, awesome bit of kit. Um, I just hope I've got enough power to power it. And the next thing I'm going to make as well, when a woman and I've done this sundial and it's working, I'm going to make the the teleporter. Because, yeah, teleporting's cool. I could have done this with RF tools, really, but... ah, oh, nearly threaded the needle. Nearly. Right, let's go down here. Into here. Round the corner. And into the end of portal. And we are here. And that 
is the hole I dug trying to find draconium that's just ridiculously big <laughs> um, so where's our where's our dragon egg there it is so the way to do it is this is bedrock so you've got to punch it off first so it goes somewhere else it's there so what we do we go underneath by two blocks put down a torch and then we dig that one and it should fall off and we get a dragon egg woo, woo. is that draconium? Nah. I have scoured this place thoroughly for the stuff um, oh that's the end of the episode see you later guys <laughs> um, okay so we got our dragon egg now we can make our sundial yes I was making more conduits trying to tidy up that room and I sort of gave up did it again so Bosch we have a sundial now we need a daylight sensor which is original minecraft oh my goodness me we just need some wood We've got some wood change it into planks like this bosh okay let's just do two daylight sensor bosh there we go and now if we go outside and I have a spot picked out for this already just here we're not likely to get it covered and let's have a look see an inverted daylight sensor, I know that. Well there used to be. Luckily it doesn't need power anymore. I'm, I'm pretty sure it used to. Um, hmm. So, hold on a second. Do we need to invert it so that it only sends the signal during the day? Right, inverter. That's industrial craft two. See, I think you need to do one of these, but I'm not sure how to do it. Right, um, light sensor. There's a couple of other ones. Um, hmm. I'll just so if it gets the daylight sent uh, daylight um, daylight sense basically if it sees a daylight then it's going to emit a redstone pulse which will turn this on so we need an inverted daylight sensor I know that oh my goodness hold on let me just check um, Obtaining, crafting. Let's, let me just um, close that, 
close that. Right. Daylight sensors can be broken, but we can broke fast with an axe. Inverted daylight sensors cannot be connect collected. So it's this one we need. It's crafting placement. Oh right, okay, so you just click it then. So put it down and then click it, maybe. Right, okay, anyway, we've got our though, we got our sundial I'm gonna sort that out um, I'll find out off camera how to do it hello <laughs> um, we also want the teleporter so this is I think it's called a sigil no draconic that's a rain sensor we can also turn the rain off but we don't have that that problem really. Um, Lux Gate. This one. Enhanced charm of dislocation, which takes an eye of ender, some draconium dust, and some blaze powder. We used all our eyes of ender. My goodness me. I only need one. So, charm of dislocation. Boff. Into a wyvern core. My goodness, we're using a few of these. Wyvern and core, we're on 88. Gah. Then that. We have our teleportation. Now, this thing is so awesome. You right click it, you add a new, call this bees. Commit. So there's bees. I don't know. This is spawners. It's so lazy, but okay. Oh, blimey! Just made me jump. <laughs> um, this. Hey, dude. Bye, dude. Is base entrance. So we do that again. Add new base entrance. Commit. And then all we need is some ender pearls. So add fuel. Put 45 in there. Now, if I click on spawners, then swing, we're there. Base entrance, there. This is shift scroll wheel, wheel by the way. Bees, there. They use the ender pearl every time, but we've not got any shortage of ender pearls. Um, the arrows are just bouncing off. Gotta love that. Right, let's go to sleep. And with that, I'm going to end the episode, and I'm going to work out how to do that sundial properly because, yeah, it's an expensive paperweight otherwise. Um, I know you used to be able to do it, but. yeah okay so thanks very much for watching guys and i shall see you on the next one ta-da for now <laughs>